today we will discuss uh, some examples of normal spaces and also we will go through some results related to these examples consider this example let uh, m denote the lebesgue measure on r and e be a measurable subset of r for one less than or equal to p less than infinity consider the set lp of e of all equivalent classes of p integrable functions on e and for x belongs to lp of e we define norm p of x as integral over e mod x power p dm whole raised to 1 by p then we can easily verify that this uh, space that is space of all equivalent class of p integrable function only together with this norm defined like this is a uh, form a normed space okay that is uh, we can ve verify every conditions of norm we can easily verify all the conditions of norm here here it is uh, uh, very clear that this is a uh, greater than or equal to zero and if a uh, norm x norm p of x is equal to zero then obviously x is equal to zero and also we can uh, show all the other uh, conditions of uh, normed space are satisfied okay so then then uh, that means lp of e together with this this norm is a normed space okay now uh, we will go through some result related to this example uh, let 1 less than or equal to p less than r which is less than infinity if m of e is less than infinity and x is a measurable function on e then norm p of x which is less than or equal to m of e power r minus p divided by pr into norm r of x okay the proof is very simple since 1 less than or equal to p less than r less than infinity we have r by p greater than 1 okay here 1 less than or equal to p less than r okay then surely r by p greater than 1 that means 1 by r by p less than 1 okay so uh, then there exists some q greater than 1 such that 1 by r by p plus 1 by q equal to 1 okay then by holders inequality we have integral over e mod x power p into 1 dm okay here we will take first term is mod x power p and the second is 1 then by using this holders inequality we can write this as which is less than or equal to integral over e mod x power p hold raised to r by p dm hold raised to 1 by r by p into integral over e mod 1 power q dm 1 by q okay that is equal to integral over e mod x power r dm whole raise to p by r into integral over e 1 dm whole raise to 1 by q okay so this is the definition of that is integral over e mod x power r dm whole raise to 1 by r is the definition of, of norm that means by using that definition we can write norm r of x this whole raise to p into this is actually m of e so m of e whole raise to 1 by q okay now taking 1 by p -th power on both sides we get integral over e mod x power p dm whole raised to 1 by p which is less than or equal to norm r of x into m of e whole raised to 1 by p q so this 1 by p q can be written as like this r minus p by p r and then uh, we will get in uh, norm p of x this is the definition of norm so norm p of x which is less than or equal to norm r of x into m of e whole raise r minus p by p r so this is our result okay now uh, from this result we can easily know uh, we can note that every r integrable function on e is also p integrable on e okay and if xn converges to x in lr of e then xn converges to x in lp of e and so uh, lr of e is a subset of lp of e if 
1 less than or equal to p less than r which is less than infinity and m of e less than infinity okay now we consider the case if p equal to infinity okay that is let m denote the Lebesgue measure on r and e be a measurable subset of r and let x, be, x is equal to l infinity of e the space is l infinity of e that is set of all equivalent classes of essentially bounded measurable functions on e and for x belongs to l infinity of e we define norm infinity of x as essential supremum of mod x on e then here also we can easily verify that this space that is l infinity of e the measure space for all equivalent classes of essentially bounded measurable function on e together with this norm that is equal to essential supremum of e or uh, essential supremum of mod x on e is a normed space okay here also we have a result that uh, if m of e less than infinity and x belongs to l infinity of e then norm p of x which is less than or equal to m of e whole raised to 1 by p into norm infinity of x here also the proof is very simple since x belongs to l infinity of e then we have this condition that m of uh, this set is equal to zero okay that is mod x of t which is less than or equal to essential supremum of mod x on e almost everywhere on e okay so uh, this is actually uh, norm infinity of x so that is mod x of t which is less than or equal to norm infinity of x then integral over e mod x power p dm which is less than or equal to integral over e norm infinity of x power p dm okay we first take the p to the power on both sides and in take integrate on both sides okay then uh, and integral over e mod x power p dm which is less than or equal to here we take uh, norm infinity of x outside then we will get into integral over e 1 dm okay so integral over e 1 dm means m of e so this exp expression become integral over e mod x power p dm less than or equal to norm infinity of x power p m of e okay actually this integral over e 1 dm means m of e okay so and taking uh, 1 by pth power on both sides so we will get integral over e mod x power p dm whole raised to 1 by p which is less than or equal to norm infinity x okay of uh, into m of e whole raised to 1 by p okay then uh, this is actually integral over e mod x power p dm whole raised to 1 by p means norm p of x so norm p of x which is less than or equal to norm infinity x into m of e whole raised to 1 by p okay so this is the result now here also uh, we can uh, easily note that uh, from every essentially bounded measurable function on e is also p integrable okay then the second one if xn converges to x in l infinity of e then xn converges to x in lp of e and so we can consider l infinity of e as a subset of lp of e if one less than or equal to p less than infinity and m of e less than infinity so from the above result we have these two results okay